God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I am checking in with you this week. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Please hit the comments. Let me know what you guys have been up to. I have been truly just been working on topics and projects. And just this past week alone, you guys, I have, I believe, eight new journals up in addition to the other ones. And you can hit the link below this episode and you can check out the new journals. They are really dope. I love them. And I hope that the prompts and, you know, the information on the inside really helps you guys out if you get a chance to check them out. So what I want to talk to you about is something that was heavy in my spirit and it has been for a minute and it's a bit taboo, but y'all know I tend to tackle those types of topics like forgiveness and, you know, just obedience stuff that people really don't like to dig deep into because we get to see both sides. But I really just wanted today to be about those people who are struggling with things that happened to them as a child that they have not expressed as an adult. So as you can see, it says trigger warning. And I wanted to just make sure I was very clear about that. But this has been heavy on my heart. Um, and this is why I always tell y'all, you know this, please have your own relationship with God. You have to, you have to tap into the Lord for yourself. You have to listen, <laughs> I cannot express to you enough how, when I just let go of ego and pride and all of the self-centered things, and I just let the Holy Spirit lead me and guide me, it literally changes my life. I want you to read, uh, John chapter 16, verse 33. And it talks about how the spirit comes in, uh, in spirit and in truth. And I want you, the Holy Spirit comes in spirit and in truth. And I want you to read that entire chapter and I want you to get context for that. But it's very important that if you are an adult listening to me and you have good intentions, you are well-intentioned, you are living in your dreams, your goals, you're doing all of the things that you want to, you want to do. The enemy wants nothing more but for you to have a false idea of what you do of what you do as excellence. Now, one might say, well, what somebody might think is excellent, someone may not, which is all true. I am basically calling out right now the lie that if you were violated or hurt or abused or something happened to you, be it physical abuse, mental, emotional abuse, whatever the case may be, if you had to deal with these things in your youth and you are now a functioning adult in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, you are you are trying to function in life and you're struggling with intimacy. You can't be intimate and have, you know, whenever somebody starts caring about you, you cut them off. You know, um, whenever you feel like you're succeeding at work, you know, some people clam up and they can't really seal the deal, you know. Some people just have become like hermits, don't want to be around society. Some people overdo it into every single thing that's going on around them because there's that that unhealed place. That's that part that has been hidden. I don't know who's listening to me. I don't, but I felt led to do this and I'm going to stand by it. And I want to call out anybody who is listening right now, especially men. If you are a man and you have been abused if you have been in situations that have caused you to question who you are as a man, question, you know, the moves you're making, if it causes you to act out, if it causes you to feel like you literally go out of your way to make sure you do your own thing and not do anything like anyone else, doesn't matter how good it is for you, you perceive it as bad. Even if, even if it's not the best thing for you, but just going out of your way to just deny these things and just suppress feelings and emotions. You know, everybody's scenario is different, but I am just here to say, if you are listening to me, go to God in prayer. It's time for you to bust out of that because this is the thing that we don't understand about being in situations like that. Again, be it physical, motion, uh, emotional, spiritual, whatever type of abuse you may have incurred. 
that was intended for you to not reach the things that God knows that he has in store for you. That's what its intention was. And so what happens is it creates a breach and it makes you feel all of these things literally leading with inadequacy. It'll also cause a domino effect of you not achieving things that you wanted to achieve in other areas of your life. It makes you feel like a victim. It makes you feel like, you know, you have to go out of your way to show that you're successful in something. You have to go out of your way to be a particular image of something and it's not who you are. And sometimes we create these situations and these spaces in our lives so that we can just completely avoid it as if it never happened. And then even when it comes to women, you know, oftentimes women are more, vo more vocal when they have these types of experiences, but it is so important that whoever you are, you know, my ladies as well, you know, God wants you to have a full life and no, it's not fun. And no, it's not the, 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 the lightest, most lighthearted thing to discuss and talk about. But if this is something God wants me to mention, I'm just, he's just sending me as a third party. I'm not, I'm not, I can't speak to it from certain vantage points. I can't, I'm not going to lie. But what I can speak to is this, when God pulls on me about something, I don't play them games. I'm going to step up and I'm going to say something. I covered myself from the top of my head to the soles of my feet so there could be no um, retaliation attempts because the enemy does not want you to heal. He just doesn't. It's just plain and simple. He wants you to keep running amok or putting yourself in compromising situations that are contrary to who God wants you to be. It, it turns into either overindulging in self things or underindulging and literally just not really fully connecting to God. I want you to know today that if you are hearing this and you have been keeping things inward and it is causing your life to look a way that you really don't want your life to look, please pray this prayer by yourself. Nobody has to know. You don't even have to move your lips. You could say it to yourself. Just ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to open every door that needs to be open and close every door that needs to be shut. Ask the Lord to heal you from the inside out, then from the outside in. Ask the Lord to make it very plain to you, even past your hurt, your pain, your oblivion. I could even see that there are people who just completely block things out. Some people don't even remember, but they're, they're not understanding why certain things are going a particular way in their lives. Y'all, this can happen from so many different ways. Like you could just have so many different experiences in your life where you are not really living up to your potential because someone else took it upon themselves to violate you or something traumatic happened because it may not have been some type of physical abuse, but something traumatic happened. Again, like losing a parent young, you know, seeing something traumatic happen, witnessing someone else being abused. It, you, it may not necessarily be something where it was directly happening to you, but it could have been something that have reached that has reshaped how you view yourself in your life. So I just wanted to put this out to you and I want you to truly know and understand that despite what has happened, despite what you've been through, today is the day that you can begin to undo this. And the minute you want to stop running, the minute you want to say, you know what, I do feel like this is something I need to address. I don't want to get in relationships or I can't keep a relationship or I don't know why I always feel this way. I don't know why I can't get past that. It can be a myriad of feelings that you are going through. I want you to know today, if you are hearing this and you stuck it through all the way to this point, this is this should confirm to you that God is going to heal you from it. And just be prepared that once everything comes out, again, that's going to be different for each person. Coming out could just be you finally just crying out to God about it. It could be you starting therapy. It could be whatever your particular situation is. Like I said, it doesn't have to be physical abuse. It doesn't have to be um, the textbook case that everyone may know about. But it can also be from traumatic experiences like loss of loved one. Um, you know, just seeing something traumatic, being a part of something traumatic, it can run the gamut. But for some reason, God wanted me to send this message today to let you know that you are loved and to let you know that 
you are designed to have a certain level of intimacy in your life. You are designed to be loving and kind and not just where you're doing it, but also allowing yourself to feel loved and to feel the kindness of others. There is no need for you to over exaggerate or under express who you are because you're running from something that someone did as a violation to you. It's time for that stuff to be put out. And I really do believe that God wants to send this gentle message out now because there'll be things that's coming up soon for different people that if you don't address it, it will come out. And I think that God wants to set a path so that it can gently come out at your own pace. You know, so just know that you are protected. Know that as painful and as hurtful that uh, as this uh, process may have been for you, God is there for you. And I know you might not want to hear that. So I'm not going to I'm not going to continuously say that. I am going to say that maybe all you needed to do was hear this and then you can figure out the rest. But all I know is this. It will not lead you down a destructive path. It will not lead you to, to confusion. It will not lead you to a point of feeling like you cannot uh, figure things out and you cannot rise above it. No, this is to let you know that even if nobody else knows what happened to you or what you've experienced, God sees you and he's using me to let you know that you will be healed from it and you will stop forfeiting the things that God has for you in your future. This is what this is a sign of. You will not continue to forfeit that. My prayer is that God will realign you and that everything that was demonically inserted into your mindset, into your life, into your 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 uh, your space, into your friendships, anything that has been inserted to throw you off from the dynamic path that you have for your life, not the path that you chose and not the path that someone else chose for you, but the true path that God has specifically ordained for he, for you through his perfect will, not even his permissive will, not like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's nice. I mean, the top tier high level where God has you in a space where you are balanced, your thoughts are clear, and you really know that you are operating in excellence and you are operating in your authentic purpose, operating in your authenticity. So I hope that whoever this was for, that it helped you and it blessed you. And please know something. God is always with you. He sees everything. Everybody else might not know, but he knows. And sometimes he will tap somebody on the shoulder and say, hey, listen, I need you to go and just let them know that everything is all right. Because y'all, sometimes when we get caught up, I know for me, sometimes when I get so frustrated in my life, I don't want to hear nothing. I, You know, people got this and I'll be like, I don't want to hear that because I'm mad. You know, sometimes we could just be so disconnected and so frustrated. We don't want to pray and we don't want to hear something from other people. So this is just to let you know that whether you want to hear it or not, God is still there. And this will be a turning point for you if you choose to move forward. My hope for you is that anything that has been blocking you, anything that has been hidden, anything that was sent to destroy who God called you to be, that it is cursed and cut off at the root in the name of Jesus. And it is replaced with the heavenly counterparts, which are the things that are designed to make you the person that you are. And every everything that was set in place to deter you and to keep you from God's will, those things be eliminated. And that God gently begins to heal you. He connects you with, connects you with a therapist if need be. He connects you with some healing. Whatever that is going to look like for you. You know, that's different for everybody. But... Knowing that God is leading you through it and that, that, that some type of counseling, some type of somebody, something with godly influence that can show you the path to healing. I believe and know that God will give you what you need and that this is the start of something beautiful for you. I pray every facade that you think is excellent, that's not, that's just a figment of something the enemy threw to you. I pray, pray that all of that is revealed. And I pray that you really get to see the fullness of who you're called to be, the fullness of you being your best. And I want to commend you for going this long. I want to commend you for still living and creating and coming up with things and taking care of yourself because I know that you've been able to do that despite all of these other things that have been lingering in the back of your mind. God just wants to free you. Nobody has to know about this. I'm just saying it out loud as your, your, your YouTube friend just so you can get it taken care of. You don't have to tell me nothing. Let the Lord and let the Holy Spirit lead you to whom? You know, he wants you to go to so that you can be healed. And I pray 
that those people, those connections that he picked, not you, the ones that he leads you to, that they are open and receptive, which we know that they will be, you know, to help you to get to the place where God wants you to be. So yesterday was a little heavy, but it's important that I'm obedient in this time because I do believe that there will be many of you that will receive a a miraculous healing and it is going to change your life moving forward. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too. Oh, God hits.